Chicago, the rail capital of the country. Today, as well as two and three decades ago, when Emery Goulash shot these memorable scenes, many of them starring trains of fallen flag railroads and vintage equipment we would give anything to see in service today. Step back in time with us to a Chicago of the 1960s and early 1970s. The Milwaukee Road is no more today. We are watching Milwaukee Road train number six, the morning Hiawatha, as it approaches the Noble Street Tower on its 410 mile run from St. Paul in Minneapolis. The train was scheduled to arrive at Chicago's Union Station at 2.40 p.m. That is the smoke-streaked Noble Street Tower against the city skyline. A three-car train of bi-level commuter cars on the Chicago and Northwestern Railroad is departing Northwestern Station, more commonly known as Madison Street Station. The Northwestern was an early pioneer with bi-levels in commuter service. An equipment move backs out of Madison Street Station. From the antiquity of the rolling stock, the cars must have come off one of the old Peninsula 400 trains. A single car push-pull bi-level commuter train in the push mode wastes no time as it arrives on the Milwaukee Road. The Milwaukee commuter trains were called scoots. Most commuter railroads that run push-pull equipment have the locomotives push the trains into the city and pull them out, irrespective of the time of day. A two-car Northwestern commuter train departs Madison Street Station. The Northwestern commuter trains are identified as streamliners, while the riding public also calls the Northwestern cars scoots. We prefer streamliners to distinguish the CNW from the Milwaukee. This move of bi-level equipment to the passenger car yard is from a long distance passenger train as opposed to a commuter train. The second car is a diner lounge car with reserved seats for first class passengers. 
A two-car inbound Northwestern commuter streamliner heads for Madison Street. A few minutes later, a single-car Milwaukee Scoot rolls outbound past Noble Street Tower. <laughs> 